I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories and then play the hands in those categories only. The purpose is to train yourself to play hands that you might not normally think about. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven, nine, Winds and Dragons. Let's roll to see which seat we're in. I rolled a five, so we're going to be the dealer. East. I'll get 14 tiles. Okay, we've got a couple of jokers, a flower, red, west, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pair twos. This is where you start. I always keep flowers. So with the two, I'm going to look at the rest of these tiles and see which category will use the most of them in support of this pair. So we have... 2468 odds and wins and dragons. Clearly we're not going to play odds because this is an even number. So we're going to hold evens and wins and dragons. So we're going to pass these three. There's a red and a four, red four, one, that's consecutive. We want evens or wins and dragons. Two, four, let's just gather. We could probably pass the wind. Let's go ahead and focus on evens. We got a six. Now we have five, seven, five. I would not pass like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair. So we need to pick a hand or just whittle down some of these options. We could play two, four, six, eight. We could play two, four, six, eight with dragons. With either of those potential hands, we didn't use this. So let's break that up and pass defensively. We got a six and we have tiles to pass so we don't need to look at any hands again because we have tiles to pass. We got a flower. Two tiles to pass. Now we have to look at the hands and see what is best. We have three multiples. Flowers, twos, and sixes. There's one hand that we can play that will use them all. Third from the bottom. We could use these for the eight. Maybe use this as joker bait or use this as joker bait and play two, four, six, eight with dragons. We could use this as joker bait too. Or play two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, no gaps. With the two, eight, and flowers with the four, six in the middle, we have two gaps. We have no eight crack and we have no four dot. So I think that should go off the table. I'm thinking either two, four, six, eight, mixed suit, second hand down, or 
two, four, six, eight with flowers. There's gaps though, no six, eight. I think we should break up the red dragon. We got a six and an eight. Two, four, six, eight. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. If we use this, we're one away from being set. We're going to do last right. Since we have no gaps and jokers, I would probably think about passing the flower to get a full pass, but I'm not comfortable with that. I'd rather pass one blind. Flowers are all over the card, so we're gonna pass one blind. We got a flower. So for optional cross, we've got three flowers here. I think, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I would ask for one. We got a discard. So we're in between two, four, six, eight, second hand down, or the very first hand with either cracks or dots. But I, I think what I would do is use these as joker bait and play two, four, six, eight, second hand down. Now, when I asked for one tile in exchange, I would decline if that happened to me. I would say, no, thank you, I'll keep what I have because either we're narrowing in on our hand or we have risky tiles to pass. Either way, I don't wanna risk it. So if anyone ever says they want one tile, think about it, consider declining as a defensive move. All right, so in this case, two, four, six, eight. Four discards, including joker bait. I would hold those as long as possible, maybe towards the middle of the middle wall or the end of the middle wall, and then ditch them. I rolled an eight, so we're going to be in north seat for this exercise. Okay, we've got our tiles. We could play either wins and dragons or odds. For odds, we have one, two, three, four, five. Wins and dragons, we almost have news and we have year tiles. There is a hand in the wind and dragon category with wins and the year tiles. So let's hold, let's see if we can go for wins and dragons. Maybe hold the odds but I would not pass like numbers. So let's give up a seven so we have one of each suit. We got a south, year tiles. We really don't need another two if we're gonna play in the wind and dragon category. We need winds and a white dragon here. So let's go ahead and give up one of each suit. Okay, we have a pair, five, nine, four. We have three discards here that we can pass and then we have joker bait 
potentially. However, if we pass these three and we get three keepers, we would be forced to either break up our hand or pass a pair. This is when I break up my joker bait. So we're going to break that up and pass those three. We got a north. And we have tiles we can pass. We got a one, but we need singles here. So let's pass those three. We got a white dragon and three tiles to pass. We've got a north and we have two tiles to pass. We do not need this flower for this hand. This is the second hand down. Pung of north or Kong of north, east, west, Kong of south. I would pass two for the optional cross. So we have three discards and we need an east and a south. Three discards. I think that was a really good Charleston for this. Winds and Dragons, second hand down. Now we need to make odds work. rolled a nine so we're gonna be the dealer we'll get 14 tiles We need odds. There's one hand that uses dragons. Fourth hand down, one, three, five, two suits with the dragon, or five, seven, nine. We have a three. One, three, five. One, three, three, five, dragon. We'll keep that. Let's break up the east, pass a six and a seven. Actually, we could maybe use seven, nine, but we'd have to throw away a pair of threes. Yeah, let's stick with it. Maybe it would be better to pass seven, four, even odd. There's five. One, three, three, five, dragon. We'll pass the east. Maybe the four and a seven. Okay, we have six, two, seven. We need odds. Let's pass. These three. We got a three and a nine odds. I think this is much stronger. All we need is a one crack. Let's break up that nine crack. We could maybe make that a little better. No keepers.
wrong suit three we got a three and tiles to pass for optional cross Four discard, or really five discards, but we have one, three, th dragon, three, five. All we need here is a one crack, so there's a gap, but we could Pung Kong. We can't use a joker here. This has to be a pair, so that's the only weakness. Oh no, I totally played that wrong. One, three, three, five. No, I didn't. This is not the way it's set up on the card, though. Okay. One, three, three, five, dragon. Pair, pair. Pung, pung, kong. So this is the weakness. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. Always check your conventions. I could have messed that up. One crack, pair, three crack, pair, three dot, pung, five dot, pung, and then the Kong of Dragons. One, two, three suits. So I would discard the South. So we need to pair up here so we could pung. So I would probably hold the flower to see if I could maybe get a joker out of it. I think we came a long way though for odds. The purpose of this exercise is to gain experience navigating the card and playing categories that you might avoid or maybe don't even think about depending on the tiles you have. If you have a set at home, I hope you give it a try and I hope it helps your game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell. If you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.